CC Open in September, and uh, I can't wait to see what she does tonight here at WNO. And her opponent, wearing the red, training out of Midland, Texas, and representing Bastos, BJJ Emily Fernandez. Emily Fernandez makes her way to the Who's number one mat, fighting out of Midland, Texas, representing Bastos BJJ, Professor Bruno Bastos in the house here at Frisco. Yeah, don't be fooled by uh, her young years, right? Just 20 years old, but competing at a high level for a very long time. Very dedicated athlete, and she's ready for the challenge at hand here. All right, before we kick things off, we're going to take a look at the tail of the tape in this bantamweight matchup. Rosa Walsh, 25 years old, 5'6", 134.8 pounds against Emily Fernandez, 20 years old, 5'4", 135 pounds. Beautiful opening to this match. A little arm drag to the inside, leg trip. Gets Emily down right away, does Rosa Walsh. Yeah, wasting no time here. Beautiful start to the match for Rosa Walsh. And, and you know, that's what we want to see, Chase. We want to see, uh, you know, we want to see aggressive takedowns on the feet. We don't want to see a 15-minute hand fighting match. We want to see, uh, uh, you know, some real takedowns <laughs> happening here. And now she's in the close guard of Emily Fernandez. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of attacks Emily has and how Rosa deals with those attacks. Yeah, this is actually one of Emily's uh, best positions, right? A little bit old school, some might call it, but very effective all the same. Here we see her digging for a Kimura. Looking to actually maybe lock it up a little bit yeah. here. Yeah, she's got a good little bite on there. And with the body triangle too, that's, that's a strong position to be in. And uh, Rosa looking cool, calm, cool, and collective on top there. Doesn't look intimidated by this position one bit. Interesting little counter attempt there with the right arm circling back in to grab Emily's head uh, as you saw Rosa doing that. Rosa just looking like this is this is not on. She's, she's cool to be in this position. No threat there. It, it feels, oh, I was just going to say that the the bite that uh, Emily had was a little shallow, but it looks like she just improved just a couple inches now. I think the, 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 the problem, though, is, is the lever that she has is too wide open. She needs to close that a little bit to really have a strong bite on that Kimura. But uh, Rosa just, just brushing it off. And again, with that right arm inside the body, trying to grab the head of Emily. Interesting little counter technique. Rosa also doing a nice job of sort of pinching with her left leg there, closing the gap that would allow a little more movement from her arm. And there we see the release of the Kimura grip. Still a very interesting start here to this matchup. Yeah, if you if you can replay that later on <laughs> during the broadcast, Rosa did a great job of circling around the back of Emily to grab the opposite arm, which shuts down the Kimura from close guard. Great job by Rosa Walsh now. Uh, I mean, I, I really like the guard of Emily Fernandez. She's going for some classical jiu-jitsu, trying to just break down, you know, the, the pillars that Rosa has on top and just trying to get her in off balance or get her hips to the mat and just doing a great job in general. Yeah, very active guard, you know, putting on pressure for bottom. Back to this Kimura attack here. She liked what she saw earlier in this yep. match, going back to the well a little bit. And all the momentum that Rosa opened up the match with that takedown has sort of been stalled out here. And I don't mean stalled, but I mean uh, it's slowed down, let's say. You know, Emily's been very active. So it's an interesting kind of reversal of trend here in this match. Back in that same position. She got the Kimura grip again. The one thing about that position is it does tend to burn your arms out a little bit if you're attacking, you know especially the older you get when your shoulders start hurting, <laughs> like myself. But uh, Emily is a very young lady, so she's got tons of time to worry about anything like that. She's, again, very aggressive from the close guard. Very different match, much different match than the first one we had. 
today, Chase. Yeah, well said. And so far, mostly focused on uh, upper body attacks. Here we see Rosa maybe thinking of stepping over and looking for a leg attack. Uh, drops back down, though. And we see another, it uh, looks like, uh, Kimura attack here from Emily Fernandez. And this is where it tests your discipline as a competitor for both athletes, really, but especially Rosa, right? Because she's relatively safe here, but she can't get complacent and then create a mistake. Yeah. 10 minutes and 50 seconds left in this match. In about 48 seconds, we're going to hear the first judge's favor, which is going to be interesting. You know, we've seen Emily uh, hit a lot of offensive movements, not really land and, and you know, finalize, but she had a couple of really strong Kimura taps, attacks, it looked like. Had a sweep attempt, but it uh, be interesting to see how the judges favor this so far. Will they favor Rosa's takedown in the beginning over what Emily's done from the bottom? We'll find out in about 20 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds till the favor. If Emily wins this by Kimura, how, how good do you div her DVD sales are going to be on the Kimura <laughs> from the clo close guard triangle? I, know, I would check them out. For I, sure. Although I can't quite always hit that uh, body triangle from close guard. And there you have it. Judges favor Emily Fernandez for her work from the close guard. And, and you know, I, I think uh, rightfully so. She's been attacking tremendously from that position. And it's it's really hard for Rosa because she's stuck in the in the body triangle, right? It's not an easy um, guard to open up from inside the closed guard as opposed to, like, contemporary closed guard. And Emily's just, just using those long legs and switching side to side now and just kind of cooking Rosa. Yeah, it's a tricky position for our, our judges to be in here because we have a successful completion technique from Rosa Walsh, which you may be inclined to reward more, but then you have sort of a, uh, a tempo control from Emily Fernandez on bottom as well as some looks at submissions. I would be inclined to give it to Rosa because she kind of set the tone, actually hit an offensive movement, but it's very close. And again, like we saw maybe in our previous match of the night, any significant change, whether it's a positional control or even a deeper submission attack, uh, could tip the scales in either athlete's favor here. As you see the graphic on the screen, don't forget to scan the QR code for your NFT. Throughout the night, you'll see a QR code pop up on the screen. Scan that to claim your NFT rash guard in partnership with Future Kimonos and Tezos. Love, if you like the rash guard, you can purchase one at Future Kimonos, plus get a free Stop. pair of shorts when connecting your NFT wallet at the checkout. See our referee is, Gabe Martins is looking uh, at our athletes, asking them to ask a little more action here. Not a penalty, just a, a warning for both, saying I'd like to see a little more action here. Yeah, I, I'm a big Gabriel Martins fan as a referee. He does a great job of controlling um, not only the, the where the athletes go, he keeps them inside the mats. He knows what they're looking for, and he knows when to stop them, when to warn them. He does a great job as one of our referees here at Who's Number One. Big props to uh, Gabriel. Referees are one of the most underappreciated jobs in the sport of jiu-jitsu by far, so I want to give him a little shout-out here. Now there is an opportunity maybe for looking at um, a leg lock here for Emily Fernandez. She may be thinking of switching up her tactics. But Rosa doing some hand fighting. I would like to see a little more aggression from Rosa Walsh now. She really has been pretty defensive for the last, I would say, six, seven minutes. Uh, and that's going to be tough to win a match like that, even with the aforementioned takedown from the beginning of the match here. Yep. I really like the, uh, the sweep attempt that Emily keeps trying on Rosa. Uh, instead of under hooking Rosa's left leg she hooks her right leg and kind of inv invert turns turns her hips on not inverts oh climbing the guard here looking oh. for an arm yeah I gotta stop explaining something that happened seconds ago because that was a beautiful arm lock attempt by Emily Fernandez now I think we're gonna see some change in in position again with the arm lock from close guard is Emily knees open so trying to get that Kai guard now Rosa's really got to work, and, and I think this is one of the, you know, this is going to be one of those moments, if she can escape this. This I is think looking a little bit better now. If she can get out, she can completely change the momentum of this match, but that's a big if, because she is stuck right now. 
Yeah, great point. I think, uh, of course, Rosa Walsh's priority here is to get out of the submission attempt, but then second and very important uh, follow-up is to not go back into that closed guard and to try and find some open space and make some movement here. But Emily is not giving up here in the sub attempt. Emily's uh, closed guard is just looking awesome this match. I know she's a Bruno Bastos student, but shades of Shanji Ribeiro at ADCC 2017, that's what I'm seeing in this match. Just a beautiful uh, no-gi close guard, offensive close guard, which is something we don't see too much these days anymore. Less than six minutes to go. Rosa Walsh now trying to open the guard, trying to be a little more aggressive with the opening there. And Emily continuing to control Rosa with that body triangle from the bottom, now overhooking the arm. And this has got to be frustrating, Chase. You know, you you know that you're winning. You're, and there it is again, attacks with the Kimura. This is probably the third strongest Kimura attack she's hit so far. And I think it's starting to frustrate Rosa. Yeah, this is definitely a... a must be a disappointing turn of events for Rosa Walsh. Again, opening so strong, uh, executing her first move, but then sort of being on the back foot the rest of the match so far as we approach our uh, second opportunity for judges' favor here. Uh, there's still plenty of time. There's five full minutes here, and you have to think uh, fatigue may be setting in a bit for Emily Fernandez. She's been working really hard on bottom, and keeping close guard, especially with the body triangle, can be very taxing. So, you know, this could be a very interesting uh, final five here in our second match of the night. And then we see our second judges. Oh, Kimura is all the way locked on. That looks very, very deep. Uses the Kimura attack to get the sweep right to mount. Beautiful job by Emily Fernandez. Been attacking that Kimura from pretty much the entirety of the match. Just kept that body triangle looking for the Kimura and gets the sweep. Shades of Brianna St. Marie versus Bianca Basilio at ADCC 2022. Very similar position. And now it's all Emily Fernandez who is now mounted on top of Rosa Walsh. Yeah, this is a tough spot to be in for Rosa. She did such a good job defending for a very long time, but Emily looking now for a head and arm triangle and in a great position to get this thing done. She's still stuck in a little bit of a half guard here, quarter guard from Rosa, but that's gonna be tough to hold on to. Yeah, she's looking to get the head and arm, and from inside the half guard, it's, it's hard to finish, but not impossible. Now progresses to the mount and going for the back there. Hard to see sometimes from the angles when you're calling the action here, Chase. But now, man, Emily has just been dominating. Gets to the back. Body triangle from the back position. Looks like she's got an arm under the chin from our angle. No, it's just above. But with three minutes and 40 seconds left, she's got optimal, uh, you know, finishing position, Chase. Yeah, you couldn't be any happier if you're an uh, Emily Fernandez fan here tonight. Really, really worked hard to get where she is, but been flawless throughout this entire match. And now looking at a strong finishing position here. If she can just do a win the hand fight battle, which is definitely going her way at the moment. Rosa Walsh doing whatever she can to defend the rear naked. She's hand fighting. She's trying to do what she can. She's trying to get her legs out. But Emily is just on the attack, relentless in this position. She's got about three minutes left to go. And I think it's safe to say that if Rosa can escape, She's either got to submit or that's that's about all she wrote. It's going to be hard to come back from that in the decision. No, I, I think uh, we're past that point in this match. You're right, Ricardo. She would have to find the sub. But right now, it's Emily Fernandez looking to lock this in all the way. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. Again, Emily kind of stuck inside. Uh, got her leg inside, but trying the head and arm. And he, she might not even be trying to finish with the head and arm, but just using it as a pinning position to try to advance her legs, maybe forcing Rosa to get a little desperate to open up as well. But now Emily on the attack once again, back control by Emily Fernandez, rolling towards the edge of the mat, going for that body triangle, and traps the arm of Rosa Walsh. This is optimal finishing position for Emily Fernandez with two minutes and five seconds left. Arm is around the neck. Could be on the chin, but it's also a position you could still finish from, Chase. Yeah, you don't want to be sat in that too long. It really begins to hurt. Rosa, though, gets out for now and looking to get her shoulders to the mat. It's going to be tough to bust through that body triangle, but right now she's doing anything she can to stay free from the choke. Really, really uh, a lot of heart being shown from Rosa Walsh here. 
but Emily Fernand is all over her. About a minute and a half left to go with Emily Fernandez dominating the last half of this match. Got to rear naked one more time. Can't tell where the position is under the chin. Is it under chase or is it over? But either way, she's got it locked on. Yeah, I think it's got to be over the face. Oh, it looks like a tap is, is imminent there. I saw the hand begin to, to flutter just a bit. Rosa just toughing this one out. It looks like it must yeah. not quite be on. But this is not going to be uh, an optimal strategy to keep uh, surviving in this match. She has one minute left to go. And Rosa actually looks a little bit better now. I can see that. Oh, but she switches the, switches the arm here, looking to, again, get this rear naked finish here. Rosa, though, very, very tough. Yeah. And manages to get through that spot. We're going to have, a, I believe, a reset here to the center of the mat. And, man, Emily Fernandez, so dominant, Ricardo. Absolutely. 42 seconds left in this match. Emily Fernandez has been... Very, very impressive. Uh, big props to Bruno Bastos in Midland, Texas. Done an amazing job with this young lady here. And, you know, Emily now, 40 seconds left on the back. She's got the body triangle. She had the arm trapped earlier, but she doesn't even need that anymore. She's going on the attack. She's going for it. Once again, trying to wrap that rear naked choke. And at this point, even if she doesn't finish with the rear naked, she's clearly going to win this matchup. Twenty-two seconds left. Man, Rosa Walsh, so tough, right? So and, tough. And, and comfortable in a tough spot. You don't see her panicking at all. Uh, she's doing what she has to do to survive these these submission attempts, and looking to maybe even come up on top here. It's a tight squeeze, but she's working hard. Five seconds left, and that is going to be all she wrote for Emily Fernandez. Man, what a, what a show! Just a dominant performance by Emily Fernandez. Um, you know, huge props to Rose Walsh for her, who's number one debut, but it was all about the Kimura chase. It was the Kimura, it was the body triangle, and just pure domination from there on. Yeah, we saw it early, right? Uh, she showed the Kimura attack in the opening moments of this match, right after Rose Walsh secured that takedown and kept going back to it. But it was also these close guard sweep attempts yeah. that really kept uh, Rosa off balance a little bit, made a, a variety of attacks difficult to kind of account for. We saw a lot of high guard from Emily. And of course, there was this armbar attempt where Rosa may have had a window of opportunity, but Emily shut that down quick. And here's our, I believe, our final setup coming up from this Kimura that resulted in the sweep and the resulting attacks, Ricardo. Yeah, just an amazing performance by Emily Fernandez here at who's number one. What, what a... What an awesome second matchup, but uh, I think we know what the decision's gonna be. We're gonna be kicking it over to our judges here in a second as we finish watching the replay of the last seconds of the match. Let's take it to Gabriel Martins with the official decision. Your winner, wearing the red, representing Bastos BJJ, Emily. Fernandez! There we have it. Decision, mere formality in this case. Clear win for Emily Fernandez. She looks over the moon as she should be. What a show. That is definitely one to watch for those at home who like the closed guard. Or if you don't, something to stay away from. Absolutely. That classical jiu-jitsu closed guard. It works, Chase. And let's take it over to Kendall Rusing to hear from our winner. All right, Emily Fernandez, amazing match here. Obviously a very, very dominant uh, 15 minutes for you. Walk us through a little bit about what happened when you finally got that Kimura free. I was so happy. My arms were like, come on, please, just pull a little harder. I know you can get it. She was super strong, super tough, such an awesome fighter. Thank you, Rosa, for taking this fight with me. Awesome, and we're super happy to see both of you guys out here. Now, with this win, you're a brand new black belt, and you're starting to work your way up in the rankings. What is the match you'd like to see in the future? Uh, I'd love to fight a ranked opponent. My coach over there wants me to say I want the winner of the main event, but any ranked opponent will do good for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we love the big jumps. I love it. I love the big asks. All right, well, congratulations again, Emily. Amazing match for you, and we'll be back soon with our next fight. All right, she didn't call out the main event winner, but she sort of did, Jay. She left the opportunity <laughs> open. You got to love it. She's game four, and I, I, we want to see her back at WNO. Congratulations to Emily Fernandez, and we'll be back with our final prelim of the night in just a minute. Stay tuned.